What's going on, everybody? Uh, welcome to my lair. I thought I'd just do a little bit of an evening vlog. Got a couple of packages to open for fun. I don't know if people still watch this kind of thing, but I still enjoy it. <clears throat> so I got involved in... Um, we, we got vinyl, and we've got cassette tape exchange. So let's start with the cassette tape thing, because that's kind of been my thing lately. Padded pack. All right. So this is from uh, a guy who was... Very enthusiastic to do a cassette tape exchange. So I feel bad because he got his out like the first day. And here's what I got to send him. We'll take a look at that in just a minute. And he also put it in a priority mailbox. Look at that. Okay. Oh my gosh. Come on, dude. <laughs> He's excited to be into, cass uh, into a cassette tape exchange. That's admirable. Oh my gosh, it's going to make my office a mess though. And here it is. <clears throat> this is actually, I mean, he did, he really went above and beyond trying to make this thing in such a way that it wouldn't uh look at that that is like freeze dried sealed this thing is going to the moon caution tape on it we are going to the moon ladies and gentlemen <laughs> that is awesome all right so we have mixed tape and this is where it says, it says mixtape. Uh, I kind of don't want to give away his username because he might want to. He, he might want to protect his identity. Oh, look at that! My gosh. And then what's in here? <laughs> this is awesome. I love this. It's a promotional insert. There you go. Uh, that's about as, as steady as I can hold it. You'll have to pause it there if you want to watch. Tinted oval window cassette. This is awesome, dude. I'm really excited about this. Uh, let me fold it back so you can't see his username. And we've got a track list here. Um, Pyro Fighter, Animaton, DJ uh, Mebby or Mendy, Piano Magic, Wee Wabbits. OK Go, I know OK Go. Wow, OK Go was really like on the forefront of YouTube with that video with like the the um what was it now? The treadmills. Remember the treadmills thing? It was like one of the first big YouTube fads that I can remember. I know there were others before it, but that's the first one that came across my lexicon. So that's really cool, man. I really appreciate it. Um, kudos on the packing job so at the risk of spoiling it I, who knows if you'll see this this is what I have together and now I have mine packaged it's it's not at all padded like his is and I'm going to wrap this in, in brown paper but this is uh, the, the, the box that my, my red devil pedal came in <clears throat> so I thought it would be cool to sh ship cassette tapes in like a pedal case now one of my goals when I do these is more tapes go out than come in so I got three tapes for him. One is the mixtape, and he's getting a copy of the Anne Margaret mix. Um, this was originally uh, created for the first mixtape exchange I was involved in. See, look, it says uh, cassette culture, synth wave, synth pop mix. Um, and that mixtape exchange was awesome. I made a copy for myself. Now, I didn't have time to make a new original tape because I'm a piece of human garbage, but I do have this one. This is an excellent tape, and I'm willing to part with it. Um, I, I, I used a, a sticker, like a label maker, on the actual thing. And then it has an insert of the tracks. So, so that's the mixtape. And then alongside the mixtape, uh, I'm going to give him Arrested Development from the thrift store. And uh, this guy is uh, Mondo Kikini Bamalam. 
which is a fun little tape I got off of Bandcamp uh, that I'm, I'm, I'm ready to let go, but hopefully he'll enjoy. So he's going to get three tapes right here in this box. And I'm going to put the mix tape, I'm going to put the mix tape in the middle and the other two tapes are going to act as padding. There you go. He sent his in Fort Knox and I'm not putting an ounce of padding in mine. I'm just awful. Hopefully he'll get a kick out of those. I think that's, I think there's some good tapes there. All right. That is the real surprise. And as soon as I, as soon as I go off the air here, I'll probably put this mixtape on. Maybe play some pinball or something. I've been into playing uh, pinball games as like my, my activity of choice while, while listening to music. Uh, this one I'm kind of concerned about because this is vinyl and they put it in a bubble wrap, a, a bubble mailer. And that's it. It's the first time I've ever gotten vinyl that I ordered off of Amazon in just a bubble mailer. All right. So this is uh, a lot. Oh, jeez. Can I make that so you can see it? I don't know. I don't think I can. Wait, wait, wait. There we go. Lush Life. John Coltrane, and it's 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 damaged pretty badly. The uh, because <laughs> of course it is. It was in a bubble mailer, and that's it. I mean, I got it at a, like at a really good price. It was like twelve bucks, but that breaks my heart. It breaks my heart because John Co Henry Rollins said there is no bad John Coltrane album. It doesn't exist. I'm not sure if that's true because if you listen to some of his like free jazz albums, it gets really weird. But this is not one of those. This is an amazing album. Yeah, you can't go wrong with Coltrane. Can't go wrong. This is uh I, I wish I had the rest of them handy, but I think this is my fourth album from him. And he's also, I'm pretty sure, the first artist ever that I've owned four vinyls from. And I got a lot of vinyl, so. Alright. So that's it. It's just, uh, you know, some, some opening some new music uh, here uh, at the desk. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to listen to some tunes. And it's, it's 1016, so I won't have a whole, lot, a whole lot of time to do it. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll probably have some more video game stuff coming up soon. Join me on Monday for the podcast. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys there.